Hello? Hello? I'm here for the script. Huh? Oh, it's just you, Karoto. There is no script today. So, no script? No? Do whatever you want today. Okay. All right. As you heard, I don't got a script. So, we're just doing what we want. So, I want to talk about black comics. You know, them black comics, them black MCs. Not them anime that I'm saying, ah, hey, there's a black person in that, so that's a black anime. No, it's not. Stop. Like, come on. Like, seriously. Whoa. Black comics. What do I like about black comics? Well, from the longest time when I was a 13, very 14, probably like 6 years old, I always wanted to have a black MC in a superhero show. I'm not talking about Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther is okay. It actually is really cool. And if you don't see the movie, I'm just gonna watch it. Black Panther is okay. Rest in peace, my guy. I'm not to talk about like black MC. What's so special about black MCs to black people? It just gives a different taste to the story. It just make it more lively to black people. I have been reading manga since I think the two since this year I started reading manga. And honestly, I'll be true. Some of the manga I read. I just feel like it just need a black person in it. From a black point of view, it needs some black point of views. Because <laughs> do the MPC, MCs just do some serious nonsense or say some serious shit that just like what? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how long this year gonna be honestly. I'm just saying, I'm just saying random shit, honestly. But I have to be sure. I really do want black MCs in manga and comics because it gives a different taste to the story. I always wanted a black manga that's similar to Naruto. Honestly, that would be the most awesome shit I ever seen. Naruto, but in black. Huh. Yeah, boy. I could see it now. What else I have to say? Also, I've been reading some to so well, some couple of man one. I won't you know what I mean? one more it's webtoons now. It's called webtoons now. I've been reading some couple of webtoons. And honestly, I have to say Max Powers, oh my god, you go and read that now that shit slaps no cap there's another one that um the offer max max powers re, um record them god re, gave to me was eclipse but i have not read it yet i'm planning to okay if you're watching this video the offer of eclipse i'm planning to read it and I'll try to see if I'll make a video about it soon. I also want to make a video about Max Power soon, like, and maybe use some of the couple of the characters in debates. Okay, depends on how powerful they are, but we will know until the series ends. So, I hope everyone is doing okay. It's just me venting, ranting. I don't even know what I'm even saying. I don't got a script, like. But anyways, ah, black MCs. Sometimes you know when you're watching a black a movie with some black people in it, black people just do the most stupidest shit. Sometimes I remember watching a black movie. Hey me out. I remember watching a black movie, and the dude was like, the chandelier was the chandelier. Oh, put the chandelier. If you know what I mean. So, if, but my accent is just. <laughs> The chandelier was about to fall. Everybody run. Except for this black guy that literally stood in the 
same spot the chandelier was about to fall down on just watch Nati. obviously you would have died like man you're not thinking run get out of the way move do a back flip or whatever they call <laughs> God. ah boy I, sometimes in movies i just don't like when you see like the black person sacrifice himself for the most looseless reasons I remember, I remember I remember watching um Final Fantasy. I can't remember which movie they had, but I watching it with my brother. And they, they had, they had a black guy. He was like not really that much injured. But instead of he like he going and trying to like help, he said that he go to stay behind. Obviously, if you stay behind, you kill. You get killed. Obviously, you get killed. Like what you doing, bro? You can't, you cannot beat a hundred a million of um enemies with just one guy. Like seriously, go follow them, get reinforcements, come back. Like, what are you doing, bro? So these black people just in movies sometimes just just kill themselves for looseless reasons, bro. Like they just want to die. That's how it is. They just want to die. There also is a I especially see movies that are read by black people. I don't understand why every time movies are read by black people think that every black person in the ghetto just want to smoke weed and do drugs, go and shoot people and stuff like that. No, that's not true. There are some black people are in the ghetto that just want to like, you know, have fun. Like be like normal people. Like I want to say um, people that are smoking weed and doing, um, doing drugs are not normal. That's on them. But I'm just trying to say that there are some people that just want to like do something that's other than doing this thing. No? It's like every movie, every movie I've made by black people have to be ghetto-ish. Like, why? Why every time a movie made by black people have to be ghetto-ish? Not every black black person was born in the ghetto. People was born in some like in some um nice houses and stuff like that with um black family that you know have like good education stuff like that. But, like, come on. Sometimes I just be watching this stuff and I'll be like, I can't relate to none of these people. I can't relate to these ghetto people because I'm not a person I like to go out and for trouble. So why each time you have to base a character upon ghetto each style kind of way like what the mean of that i always at the ending i was a lot close to the ending but sometimes in the middle of the movie oh this man brother getting shot oh they kill this man's mother oh this man go and uh, um he's um stole weed or something like uh cocaine or boy can i even on youtube well, drugs and stuff like that, and police is looking for them and stuff like that. Like, what? Why? Why each time you're writing this in the story? Like, that is just not entertaining at all. You know how much movies are out there about black people in the ghetto? Many. I would say many. There is a lot. Every time. Every time. Every time like this, you're always doing that. You can't try to like be unique, make a black fantasy movie with a black main character. Hey, I will sit my ass down and watch the heck off of that because hey, a black MC, I could relate. I'm not talking about the one Netflix made. I heard something about Netflix made about a uh, black anime character, black anime, and these immortal things. I have not watched it yet. I have not watched it, but what I heard, I heard it's not good because obviously it's made by Netflix. So I might try it out in seven years, but I'm I'm going to just stick with that. It made by Netflix. It's just not good at all. If it made by Netflix, it's not good. Depends. But like I said, <sighs> there are some people when you see they're writing black characters, it just they just go like far beyond far beyond like if that's a black person and 
I would say something about artists too. I don't want to slam no artists. I am sorry. I, I don't want to slam no artists. But sometimes when you see your writing, not writing, join, join, join black characters. Why do y'all um draw the whole hand black? Like the entire hand. You the entire hand is black. Black people's hands are not completely black that you, like have you not seen the the white um paw we have we have white paws we're not completely black i don't understand why they draw the um, black character completely black they pause completely black that's not how it works we don't have black paws but i'm not here to like stand up any artist hey do you that's up to you. I will still read the heck out of it. I don't make I'm that not really bother, but sometimes it's just like you know, come on. It's that's not a that's that's just you know, see I'm, Well I'm just winning today. I'm just ranting, venting you could say. I'm just speaking my mind since I I really did not plan anything to record and I didn't have a script. I want to talk about black comics, but I think I go way, way off the top. But like I said, I'm being too wet inside now. I might make a unique video for them. It's called Max Power, and I'm getting to Eclipse. You should try it out. Oh yeah, sorry, free, free. Sorry, I mean free webtoons right now. Max Power, that's a definite read. Eclipse, I'm going to get to that and 21st century nights yes that is a read i will i'm not even rich on the latest chapter yet but i'm getting there don't mind me i'm getting there and that shit slaps i like the how the is a girl mc and she's black and they don't like she not they like they'll try and treat her like she is looseless and stuff like that like she can't do nothing because that's the thing about people when you see they have girl characters i do not understand about the anime community when you see it's a girl character they always think that she can't do nothing like she's so weak and stuff like that like come on write your female characters better sometimes i watching i was watching i think it's baruto not baruto i watch the an anime and it's like the female characters are so weak that they don't do nothing there like they are looseless. Now, oh, Naruto, definitely Naruto. Naruto is is a perfect example. The female characters, you just don't do nothing with them. It's like, hey, we got female characters. Look, look them. Just look, look at them. Look at them boobs and things like that. I don't mind my fan service, but like, come on, it's a, a shonen fight, whatever. The female characters have to do something. Like, they in the show for a reason make them do something make them show off their skills make them go and train make them get more powerful i will mind to see hey this um girl in um, Na um naruto is stronger than naruto i wouldn't mind that that is actually something good i don't mind women being stronger than the mc but like i said i'm just venting just me today um if i will find it for like 13 minutes already wow anyways i think that'll be all i don't really got much to say without any script it feels awkward and i'm very very nervous my thoughts is like all over the place anyways i will see you next time bye peace